Hey, Billy Drain here for Miller Industries. As we continue to bring the Florida show to you, we've got another unit up on the slate today. Here we have a Vulcan V70 on a Kenworth W900. I'm joined with Jeremy Irvin from MHC to talk about our relationship with our chassis partners and suppliers, and he's gonna go over a few things with the cabin chassis that you may or may not already know. Thanks, Billy. I appreciate you guys allowing us to come up here and talk to you about Kenworth trucks today. One thing we do that you won't find at your normal dealership Normal dealerships, you'll have a chassis on the ground with a 12,000 front axle. In order to spec this properly for a, a towing operator, we'll find out exactly what the tower's needs are. For example, on this W900, set up with a 35 ton integrated wrecker, we'll spec that with a, normally with a 14.6 front, 40 rear, 46,000 pound suspension, and the proper ride height. That's one thing you always have to take into consideration. A chassis on the ground at your local Kenworth Peterbilt dealership it may have an eight and a half inch rod height. Well, that, that's not gonna fly for what these operators do with these tow trucks today. So we try to maximize turning radius for this tow truck operator. He's trying to get around inner city. He needs all the maneuverability he can get. So one thing we do here on the W900B, we spec it with a D2000, which is a Dana 20K front axle. To maximize turning radius, we do a 20K D rate. We'll use a 16K spring pack, along with a 16K steering gear from Shepard or TRW. We spec this with a 315 tire. That requires us to use a nine inch rim. And using the, specking the proper nine inch rim, you want to use the four inch offset. That extends the outer wheel ends to maximize the turning radius with a D2000. When talking about engine specs for a tow truck, one thing that's always very important, as you see behind me, the X15, is the performance spec of the engine. The Cummins X15 Performance Series is something new we've ha added about a year and a half ago. In the past, we had the Efficiency Series, and now we have the Performance Series. That's going to allow the tower an extra 200 RPM, which is great when you're hooked up on the back end of that V70. So paired with the X15, we have an Eaton Ultra Shift transmission. It's a very reliable transmission. It's the same gearbox that we've had for years in our chassis. What this allows, though, is more driver comfort. The driver does not have to engage a clutch to change gears with this transmission. One thing we do in working with Miller's engineering team, we work with the custom frame layout department to ensure that we have a clear space set up as this chassis comes into Miller's production. You can see here behind me, we have a left-hand battery box set up directly under the cab door, have a 60-gallon fuel tank, along with an 11-gallon def tank on the driver's side. On the opposite side, to maximize fuel capacity for that tow operator, we have an additional 100 gallon fuel tank. So he has 160 gallons of fuel on board with that 11 gallons of def tank. And all this comes clean back of cab. Miller's production team doesn't have to move anything as this chassis comes through. Thanks Jeremy for talking to us about some of those different chassis options. Now let's move to the back end. The V70 has many different body configurations that are offered. This body here is a 180 aluminum body. And as you've seen in some of our other products, We've worked really hard to move that fork storage up into the front compartment, and you'll see we also have incorporated the Vulcan pass-through box in this forward compartment as well. In the next box back, you'll see uh, our tire lift on one side and then our chains on the other. Again, moving those heavier items further forward in the truck to give us more front axle weight and take some of that weight off of the drive axles. The Vulcan V70 has some very unique features that I want to highlight. One of the unique features of the Vulcan box is the sweep out floor design of the boxes. This allows for easy access when cleaning out the bottom of the tool compartments. The V70 has a full length subframe that runs all the way to the back of the cab. That provides maximum support for the wrecker body itself. The cylinders are also mounted on spherical bearings which adds to the long life of the cylinders. Another feature of the V70 is the control handles with direct rod linkage on both the driver and passenger side directly into the valve body. Let's talk a little bit about the recovery capability of the V70. First, the tailboard. You'll notice the tailboard is a fully fabricated constructed design. You'll also be able to see the increased height in the saddle in order to give us more stability for those tough side pull recovery situations. Also in the tailboard, you'll notice easy access fork storage on both the driver and passenger side. Check out the chain pockets for the safety chains. Quick, easy access to be able to get those chains out into the towed vehicle. The V70 is equipped with a recovery boom with 120 inches of stroke and also has two 35,000 pound two-speed planetary winches. It's also available with the under boom mounted third winch. This winch at 22,000 pounds of capacity 
gives you that extra winch for those tough recovery situations. So now that we've talked about the recovery capabilities of the V70, let's focus a little bit on the underlift. This V70 is equipped with 144 inch reach Euro underlift. The 5x5 fabricated crossbar that we use on this V70 is the same as the one that we use on our V100 product as well as on the Sentry products. That makes for all of our attachments to be universal and can be used interchangeably in between trucks. In both the V70 and the V100, we use a single cylinder that operates the fold and the tilt function. This is unique in the Vulcan product line because it allows you for maximum tilt on those tough towing situations. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I want to thank Jeremy Irvin for coming and spending a little time with us to talk about the Kenworth product. Thanks Billy, I appreciate you allowing us to be a part of this. And keep watching us as we have more Florida Show units coming your way. Miller Industries, the world leader in towing and recovery equipment. This video is for product demonstration purposes only and is not intended for training or instructional purposes. Situations vary and operators should rely on their own professional knowledge and safety procedures when conducting actual recoveries.